Development. Next to Minister Ring is Cotton Hughes, Chairman of the Hughes Group and the Westport Hotel Company. Next to Cotton is Con Casey, who is the Administrator of the Estate from FHM Casey McGrath, and last but not least, Peter Pines, Chief Executive of Mayor County Council. We're going to say a few words about what's happened, what's happening, and what the future holds. And uh, if there's any members of the meeting who haven't had a press release, our economic report just to go down and make sure we have one. Okay, it's done. Thank you very much. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and uh, distinguished guests, uh, Minister Peter, uh, and uh, your colleagues from the uh, Council. Um, my name is Colin Casey, I'm a partner in LHM Casey McGrath and um, uh, for the last two years uh, I have been, uh, along with my colleague uh, Dermot Turey, who unfortunately wasn't able to attend today, uh, but we have acted as the administrators uh, of uh, the Westport House and Estate. Um, that appointment uh, resulted uh, obviously from the death of uh, Lord Altamont. Um, and uh, his family um, uh, found themselves, as you might imagine, in a very difficult position uh, uh, after his death. Um, they uh, were the, uh, or are the beneficiaries of the estate, but uh, again, it would be well publicised that the estate had uh, some significant challenges. Uh, and to uh, try to deal with those challenges, um, the original executors of the estate uh, were uh, asked to step down uh, and uh, professional administrators appointed and that's uh, how I'm sitting here today. I have worked with the Brown family uh, for uh, over 10 years uh, and have grown to love uh, the estate here uh, and Westport. Uh, we have got an absolute jewel in, in uh, the west of Ireland in my opinion uh, and uh, you know, today is uh, a very special day because uh, uh, the, the news that we're going to about to impart uh, will result, in my opinion, uh, in the uh, uh, furtherance of all the uh, exceptional work that has gone on here in Westport House for many years to come uh, and fulfil the dream of the Brown family, uh, particular uh, Lady Altamont uh, and uh, her late husband, uh, Jeremy Brown. Um, before I pass you over to um, uh, Colin Hughes, who is the uh, chairman of the Hughes Group. I just want to say a few words on behalf of the Brown family. Um, as you might imagine, today is a, a, is a bittersweet day for the Brown family. Um, they are leaving what is their ancestral home. Uh, they uh, are uh, le leaving uh, the memories of their childhood. Uh, they are leaving uh, the memories of all the friends and neighbours that they've built up over the years. Uh, they're not even for good, mind you, and they will still be very much available to uh, the new owners. Uh, they, they have made a commitment in that regard. Um, but nevertheless, it is a very bittersweet day uh, for them. They have faced many challenges over the years. Um, uh, they have uh, dealt with a lot of those challenges. Uh, they put a lot of their own uh, family, blood, sweat, and tears into maintaining Westport House and, and the estate. Um, but uh, they couldn't have done it without the support of certain people. Um, in particular, uh, they've asked me today to uh, acknowledge the, uh, the, the tremendous support that they have received from their, their staff, their loyal staff, uh, for many years. Uh, and some of them, I'm delighted to see, are here, here today. Um, uh, they, they would have uh, gone through many years of uncertainty, uh, many years of perhaps not knowing uh, what Friday was going to bring, or, or at the end of the month it was going to bring. But nevertheless, they, they stood by the Brown family, and, and they for, they for <coughs> ever grateful for that. And, and they asked in particular to, to make that uh, you know, front and centre today on their behalf. The second grouping that, that they wanted me to particularly <coughs> were the people of Westport. Um, I can't quite remember when it happened, but uh, about a year ago, uh, there was a show of, of support uh, by the people of Westport uh, beyond uh, their imagination. Um, they felt very humbled by it, uh, and, but they felt very grateful for it. Uh, and it, it's 
certainly uh, uh, put uh, steel in their spine for, for to, to continue with the challenges because you know as as as, as, as challenges were presented uh, day by day, it was very difficult for them to to, to deal with all the challenges. And there were many that, that they were faced with, but. Uh, the, the, the people of Westport, and I cannot again under, under, understate this, the people of Westport were their rock. Um, and they have said that to me many times, uh, and they, they, they will be forever grateful for the support that you've given them, not only in the last um, couple of years, but over many years. Uh, and again, uh, I'm sure uh, you have as much regard for them as they have for you. Um, we, we also, uh, in, in my challenging job in trying to uh, put a shape on, on, on Westport House, um, I had uh, tremendous support uh, from uh, <coughs> the gentleman on the right, Peter Hines, and his uh, colleagues in the council. Uh, there were many challenges that we, we faced in order to, to bring us to today. And, uh, and also, uh, Minister Ring, uh, who, who played a significant part behind the scenes, um, and again, I, I don't want that to be taken out of character. Um, behind the scenes for something like this is, 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 is extremely important, and uh, the minister was not found wanting in that regard. So, um, just to uh, bring you on to why we're sitting here today, uh, I, I'm delighted to say that um, following uh, fairly good honest and open discussion uh, and negotiation uh, on Wednesday of this week uh, we reached uh, an agreement uh, for the uh, sale of Westport House and the estate uh, to uh, the Hughes family. Um, uh, Colin Hughes uh, to my left who is the chairman of that group uh, and uh, his, his, his brothers who, who I've recently met um, I know by, by sitting with them and I know by listening to the, to the love that they have for Westport that they will uh, carry on the tradition uh, that has uh, developed uh, here in Westport and will um, show uh, the house and the estate uh, the love and give the love and attention uh, that uh, it deserves and I know they will fulfil the dream of uh, Jeremy and uh, <coughs> Jennifer Brown um, into well into the future and beyond. So it is my great pleasure to introduce you to uh, Cahill Hughes, um, who is going to give you some uh, initial idea of what his thoughts and plans are for Westport House on the stage.